Welcome to Sewing Anastasia and Happy Black Friday! Speaking of the holidays, this is going to be the first video for my 2022 gift giving guide. Over the next month, I'm going to be putting out a bunch of DIY tutorials so that way you can make your own DIY Christmas gifts. Make sure to keep checking back all month long and check out my gift giving 2022 playlist. Today, we are going to create some cozy flannel pajama pants with hidden side seam pockets. These pajama pants are also going to have a knit cuff at the hem, just like a jogger, so that way your pants don't have to drag around on the ground or you don't have to wear them too short or too long. I always feel like that's a problem with pajama pants. They're also going to have an elastic waist, making them super comfy. So these pajama pants have a few extra details, making them a little different, extra cool, but they are still extremely easy to sew, and this is a great beginner project. And a great project for everyone, because who doesn't need a cozy pair of pajama pants? and these make a great gift to give as well. You're probably wondering, where am I going to get this awesome pajama pant pattern? Well, I designed one for you in sizes extra small through 6X. So we've got a pattern size for everyone. And you can download this from SewingAnastasia.com. There will also be a link down below in the description. The first thing you need to do is cut out your paper pattern and then make sure you cut out your fabric following the directions on the pattern. So I have cut out my front leg cut two my back leg cut to, my rib knit cuffs, which are cut to, and then I have my pockets, which are cut for. You're also gonna need some elastic for the waist. I recommend using an inch to two inches for your elastic width. Now to get the perfect elastic length, I like to take the elastic, wrap it around my waist or where I'm going to be wearing my pants and pull it so that way it's comfortable and then I know exactly where I need to cut it. So that feels pretty good to me. So I know I need to cut that right here. There we go. Now we've got our waist elastic. That means I have everything I need to start sewing together these cozy pajama pants. So let's get into it. The first thing we are going to do is sew on the pockets. So make sure you find your notches on the pocket and on your pants. Once you've found your notches on your pocket and on your pant, you're going to want to line these up with your pocket and your pant right sides together. And then we're going to sew them up right at the side here. I'm going to be serging this together here, but if you don't have a serger, you can zigzag it, overcast it, or just use a straight stitch. So I have my two pockets laid out on the front pant legs here. And so they are right sides together and I've lined up my notches. So now we are gonna sew from end to end, top to bottom here, along the side of the pants for the pocket. Do not sew these down to the pocket around this curved shape. So right now, just along the side seam of the pant. So I'm going to be serging together my pocket here, but remember you can overcast or straight stitch this on and then go back and zigzag it to finish it off. And with the serger, when you get to the end of the pocket, you're just gonna pull your fabric over to the side and serge off. One done and one to go. So when you're sewing something in the middle of a piece of fabric, lift up your foot and make sure you're placing it in there so it's nice and smooth and flat all the way back. If you're enjoying how to make these cozy pajama pants so far, make sure you subscribe to Sew Anastasia and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. Now let's get back to finishing up our pajama pants. Let's take a look at the pockets we just serged on and then we're gonna do the next set. So you can see we just serged on the pockets right here to the pant legs and now we are going to do the same thing to the back pant legs, making sure that they're lined up with the notches on your pattern. Voila! So now we have the pockets sewn onto all of the legs for the pajama pants. Now what we need to do is add an edge stitch. So we need to open up the pocket and on our regular sewing machine with a straight stitch, we are going to sew really close to the edge, making sure that we're sewing on top of the seam allowance so that way our pockets stay to the inside of the garment. So this is a really important step, so don't skip it. And you're gonna do that to all four pockets. So I have everything lined up to do my edge stitch and remember we are stitching on top of that seam allowance down there. Okay. 
And now we're done with our edge stitches. So your edge stitch should look just like that. Nice and close to the edge. Now that we have those edge stitches finished, we are going to sew up the seat seams. So to do that, we're gonna place the right sides together of the back and the back and the front and the front. And then we're going to sew up this curved shape. So on the front and on the back, how do you know which is which? The back has a deeper curve and the front has a shallower, smaller curve. And to sew that up, you could serge it together. You could use your overcast stitch or you could use a straight stitch and zigzag your edges. Okay, so we are gonna serge those two layers together. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other set. There we go, now we're done with that step. Let's take a look at the curves that we just surged up. So your curves should look something like this right here. And now what we wanna do is take our pant legs and put them right sides together. So we are gonna take the whole pant and we are going to lay them right sides together. And now what we wanna do is match up the side seams. And if you lined up your notches before, your pockets should line up perfectly. So first, when I sew this up, I'm going to be sewing the side seams with the serger, so down, around the pocket, back up, and down the pant leg. And we are going to do this on both sides, down, around the pocket, and down the pant leg. And then after that, we are going to sew up the inseam. And the really important part with the inseam is making sure that these two seams right here match up at the center. Great idea to put a clip there if you're serging or a pin if you're using your sewing machine. And then line up the inseam of your pant legs and sew those together. And this is just gonna be one really big long stitch for the inseam. Now you might be wondering, my pant legs don't match up. Did I do something wrong? You absolutely did not. The back of the pant leg is always bigger than the front of the pant leg. So let's go sew up the outseam and the inseam. Just make sure you don't sew up the leg opening at the very bottom, otherwise you're not gonna be able to get your foot through your pants. So I'm serging this together and we have a corner up here we're gonna run into. So we gotta make sure that we keep this edge nice and straight. And if you need more help serging corners, make sure you check out my video on that. Also, uh... Also, if you don't have a serger, you can use your overcast stitch or use a straight stitch and then zigzag the edge to finish it off. Our pants are starting to look like pants. This is so exciting. We now have legs. We've got our inseam sewn together. We have our out seams around our pockets and up to the waist. So now we have three finishing touches left to make these complete. First, we're gonna sew up the bottom of the pocket three inches because right now everything's gonna fall out of your pocket. So we gotta sew it up a little bit. So we've got our pockets here and what we need to do is sew up three or four inches at the bottom of the pocket. We're literally just gonna sew through both layers. And what this is gonna do is create a little blockade so that way the things in your pocket can't fall out but we can still get our hand in right here. So I'm sewing right outside of the serge. We are going to back stitch at the beginning and the end of this, making this nice and secure because you know your pockets are going to get a lot of wear and tear on them. When we get to the bottom, we're just gonna blend into the seam that's already there. Back stitch and cut. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And we're done with that step. So you can really see how this stitch right here is preventing anything from falling out of the pocket here, but our hand can still get into the pocket nice and easy. 
Next, we're gonna move on to putting the rib knit cuffs to the bottom of the pajama pants. Now this might feel a little bit intimidating, but I promise it's super easy. So what we're going to do is take our rib knit cuff and place it right sides together. And we are going to sew up this side here. And then we're gonna do some fancy stuff and get it to fit into the pant leg. So I'm going to be demoing one of these for you, but we're going to be doing the same thing to both sides. So now I have the cuff sewn up at the side. And what we need to do is take the cuff and fold it half and make sure the wrong sides are facing each other. So that way you have the right side of the rib knit on both sides. So you'll see it's on this side. And if I flip it inside out, we also have the right side on this side. And by folding it like that, we have a nice clean seam on both sides as well. So now what we're gonna do is stretch out the rib knit cuff around the pant leg. So I like to leave my pants right side, face out, and now I'm going to take my rib knit cuff and I'm gonna line up the seam with the inseam over here. And you can go ahead and clip this or pin it depending on how you're gonna sew it together. And now what we need to do is stretch it out to fit all the way around the bottom of the leg opening here. So you're just gonna stretch it out and make it fit. And now you're going to go ahead and sew this down. You could serge it, you could straight stitch it and zigzag it or overcast it. So we're gonna lift up the foot and slide this cuff right into the serger. Now we're gonna sew all the way around. Serge off and there we go. So I surged on the rib knits, both of them, and they look great. So it cinches in the bottom of the pant leg, giving it a nice little cuff around your ankle. Now we have one step left, and then we get to try on our cozy new pajama pants. So let's go ahead and finish up the waistband. I'm gonna go over exactly how to make an elastic casing. So what we need to do is get this small piece of elastic into this bigger piece of fabric. Now my favorite way to do this is to go ahead and fold in a casing a half inch bigger than your elastic. So if I place my piece of elastic here, I wanna make sure that I have a half inch of fabric below the elastic. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and sew all the way around the waist, but we wanna leave like a one to two inch opening here so that way we can get the elastic in it after we create the casing. I like doing it this way because I think it's the simplest way to get the elastic in the waist. For this step, we're going to be creating a straight stitch using the regular sewing machine. So we're gonna sew down this casing. Now, when you get back to where you started, make sure you leave an opening, do a little back stitch and cut. And now we're gonna get that elastic in there. So now that we have our casing sewn down, we need to get our elastic in there. The easiest thing to do is grab a safety pin, put it through the end of the elastic and close the safety pin. And now what we're gonna do is work our way all the way around the pants. Now remember, your elastic is smaller than the waist of the pants. So you wanna hold the end or just make sure you don't pull this end of the elastic into the casing because we're gonna to need to sew that down to the other end when we get it out. Okay, we're coming up to the opening. There's our safety pin. We're just going to pull some of our elastic out. Oop, popped right open. Now what we're gonna do is take the ends of the elastic and we're going to place them on top of each other and sew this down. I like to go back and forth a handful of times. It doesn't even matter what it looks like because no one's ever going to see it. Just make sure you're not actually creating a seam by lining up the raw edges because that's gonna be bulky inside of the waistband. So we want to overlap the elastic and sew over it. So now I've got it stitched together and it's looking great and it's going nowhere. So now what we're going to do is pull the elastic so it goes into the pant waist. And now what we're going to do is sew down the opening that's right here. So we've got this little opening. So let's just make sure everything's flat. Actually, I might've twisted my elastic. Let's see, did I? I think I did, which is okay. So you know what? If you twist your elastic too, because it happens, basically what we need to do is flatten it out. You can pull this out if you've lost your other end already and just cut it, totally okay. And now what we're going to do, make sure you don't lose the ends. We are just going to flatten out this piece of elastic 
and re-sew over it. No big deal at all. Now what we're gonna do is make sure your fabric is nice and flat and we're going to sew up the opening that's right there and make sure you don't sew any pleats into it. So just make it nice and flat and don't sew into your elastic. But that is our next step, sewing into our elastic. So for our next step, what we wanna do is secure our elastic in the waistband. So we wanna do a stitch about a quarter of an inch away from the top edge. And when we sew this on the machine, we are going to keep this nice and stretched out. And then it's gonna to return to the gathered state and the elastic will be in place. So just to go over that, we're gonna sew up the opening and then we're gonna sew the elastic all the way around. We are going to back stitch at the beginning and the end of this closing up of the hole here. and cut. So that's looking good on the inside. Can't even tell we did that. And then it looks really nice on the outside as well. We just need to clip our threads there. Okay, so now what we are going to do is sew all the way around the top waist here. And I'm gonna start at the center back seam here. Remember, I'm pulling my pants flat. So I'm not gonna be sewing over any of these little gathers that we've created by putting in the elastic waistband. And when you start, let's make sure we're doing our back stitches to make this nice and secure. We are going to pull our pajama pants and just sew all the way around. When I get back to where I started, I do a couple back stitches and cut. We did it. We finished our super cute, cozy knitting lamb flannel pajama pants. That was a mouthful. We have pockets in them, <laughs> yes, to keep all of our goodies. We have cute functional rib knit bottom so that way our pants do not drag on the ground and they help keep you warm because the pants are going to be nice and tight on your ankle and then we have a nice cozy comfy elastic waist on them here they are we finished our pajama pants and they are so cozy especially out of this flannel fabric we've got our cool rib knit at the bottom we've got our awesome big pockets in the pants and they fit so nice and well, especially with our elastic that we have in them. They are so cozy. I am ready to snuggle up and watch a movie. Now you can make pajama pants for yourself and everyone else in your family because they are so easy to make and you can follow these steps again and again and again for reference. And make sure you download the pattern at SewingAnastasia.com. Thanks for watching Sewing Anastasia today. If you have any questions about sewing these pajama pants, make sure you leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below about what your favorite fabrics are to wear to bed. I would love to know. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And if you don't follow on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the social media websites, make sure you check out Zoe Anastasia on them so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And if you're in Chicago, come on into the studio and take a sewing class with me. Or you can also take classes virtually. All the information for that is on ZoeAnastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.